Welcome back to our channel. A chloroplith map uses differences in color in defined areas for common property in order to visualize data as an aggregate summary of a region. Here chloroplith is to shade regions that is country on the basis of life expectancy for each year. I have plotted the chloroplith map for various scope that is world map, Asian continent, African continent. We can easily get this chloroplith map in Python by importing Plotty Express. So the first statement of our Python code is to import Plotty Express. Uh, before going to plot the chloroplith map, we should associate a database which has the details of the life expectancy for each country. You can use your own database also, but here I have taken the default built-in gap minder for uh, our uh, chloroplith map. First, let us print uh, the database using gap minder and then understand its elements. Uh, there are 1704 rows and 8 columns in this default gap minder. As we can see, it is getting displayed with the elements being country, continent, year starting from 1952, life expectancy for each year, for each country, population, GDP per capita, and uh, the ISO alpha for each country and a number associated called ISO number for each country. Now, having a brief idea about the database that we are going to use called GapMinder, let us proceed to plot the chloroplith map by calling the built-in method chloroplith in Plotty Express. The first element to be passed is the database here GapMinder. In case if you are using your own database, pass uh, the uh, database instead of GapMinder. The next element is the locations. Here it is based on ISO alpha column of our GapMinder database. The next one is the color for each of these locations. The location is uh, nothing but the country. So the color will be based on the life expectancy value because we are going to uh, indicate the country on the basis of life expectancy. And I am going to uh, plot this chloroplith map for world so scope is world and we will get the frames animated frames for each year starting from 1952 as in the database so on execution we got the world map and when i run the animated frames i could see each country's color changes which is nothing but based on the life expectancy for each year. Now it would be better if we move the mouse on the map. Uh, I could get the details of country and its life expectancy in numerals. So I have included hover name as uh, with country. Now again on execution we could see that the country and the year alpha and life expectancy are there, you try to have your map with different scope like Asia, Africa and write in comments about the results.